What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel. Welcome back to the Buffalo Bills Legends Fantasy Draft Series on Madden 21 and we are in the playoffs. That is right, the playoffs. The divisional round against the Oakland Raiders. The Raiders. I hurt my throat a little bit. <laughs> we got to go up against the Raiders at our stadium. They're 11 and 5. We're 15 and 1. Uh, if you guys want to check out the playoff bracket, here we go. Um, the Dolphins lost to the Browns by 5, so the Browns will play the Texans because the 2 and the 3 seed play and the 1 and the 4 seed play. So, um, and over on the NFC side, I'm really hoping that the Eagles go to the Super Bowl because out of all these teams, we have not played the Eagles. Um, so I would like to play the Eagles just to get a new face, but I'm assuming the Saints are going to win and I'm assuming probably the Rams are going to win because the, although the Cowboys did blow out the Seahawks 42 to seven. So I don't know who's going to win that two versus three on the other side of the, of the bracket, but I'm assuming that the Saints are going to win because it's a one versus five and the, the lower seeds tend not to win <clears throat> like that low of a seed does not tend uh, to win usually in simulation. So it can happen. I'm not saying that it can't happen, but <clears throat> just going off of regular knowledge, um, usually the one seed usually wins. So I, I, I know I just said usually twice in a span of three words, but it, it's fine. But checking on the Raiders team, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is like doing some weird things today. Ever since I said the Raiders, I should have said the Raiders like that. All right. So we have Dion Sanders prime time. As their number one player, Josh Jacobs, which is... who oh, he's hurt. Josh Jacobs is injured. What is his injury? Can I check his injury? Dislocated... It's down there on the bottom. I'm such an idiot. Dislocated hip out for three weeks. So Josh Jacobs is not playing in this game. We will have to go up against, I'm assuming, Jamal Lewis, since he's their next highest rated running back. But it's good to see Josh Jacobs. What is this? Four years into the, into the simulation. He's a 99 overall. That's pretty cool. Uh, they have Jesse Tuggle, John Randall... Jamal Lewis, Michael Thomas can't guard Mike, Darren Sharper, Alan Page, Kenneth Murray Jr., Joe Burrow is their quarterback. We faced this team before. They got some very good young wide receivers, Terry McLaurin and uh, Henry Ruggs, but Terry McLaurin's injured as well. Whoa, forearm fracture out for two weeks, so the Raiders, the Raiders aren't in this game, or the, the, uh, Raiders have been hit by a, the injury bug like crazy. Let's go to the injury report and actually see, uh, who's on their injury. Uh, Dante Jackson's not playing for us. He'll be back for the Super Bowl if we make it. But Raiders. Oh, wow. Okay, so they're almost... And Chris Carson's hurt, too. So Josh Jacobs, Terry McLaurin, Chris Carson, and their right tackle, Jawan Taylor, are not going to be in this game. And Car Chris Carson cannot come back at all. Neither can Jawan Taylor. He tore his AC, or partially tore his ACL, and Chris Carson broke his collarbone. So these guys are on the IR. They cannot come back the rest of the season. Um, but Terry McLaurin and Josh Jacobs could come back. Well, Josh Jacobs might not come back for the Super Bowl if they were to beat us and then go to the Super Bowl. But Terry McLaurin probably would be back for the Super Bowl. Um, but these two guys are not going to be in this game for the Raiders. So they're already at a disadvantage. So their their team's going to have to step up. Maybe that's a reason why they are 11-5. <gasps> But you guys know what our team looks like. We're ready to go. Patrick Mahomes is ready to have a great performance. Hopefully, we can cruise to the AFC Conference Championship and play those darn Browns in a rematch against Cleveland uh, from a couple of years ago when we were knocked out in the AFC Championship game by these very same Cleveland Browns, who have I, I think have not changed their, uh, their team up very much since that game. So we would be going up against a lot of the same people that we did in that game. So hopefully it's Browns versus Bills in the AFC Championship game. But we got to get through the Raiders. Let's play the Raiders. Make sure to smash that like button if you are excited. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Join the Juice Club and let's play the Raiders. Playoff fever has come to upstate New York. And there's a look at Bills Stadium here in Orchard Park. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Buffalo Bills. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. AFC Divisional Round. 
Bills, Raiders to decide who goes to the AFC Championship game. We got lucky. It's just a cold one here today. It's not snow on the ground in Buffalo, New York, which is very lucky for us because the Raiders are wearing white. <laughs> so we got lucky that we don't have to play one against the, the weather and the, the snow, but against the Raiders in their white uniforms. Hopefully we can get Earl Campbell, Earl the Pur Earl, <clears throat> excuse me. Hopefully we can get Earl, I don't know what happened with my voice there. Earl the Pearl, uh, Earl Campbell with a very good game like he's been having the past couple of outings for us. Patrick Mahomes with the first pass, that's pass interference. Thank you very much, Devin Hester. Yes, thank you. First and 10 on the 50, that's a beautiful way to start the game. Devin Hester was held back by the corner who was covering him. And a beautiful pass interference call. And Earl Campbell swings his way up for a couple yards. Looks like the run game is going to be a little bit more tricky than it has been for the past couple of weeks. We've usually been able to start out the game with a strong run. And I got to roll. I got to roll. Fire it. I, ha I just... Mm, I should have ran it. But I wanted to get some passing yards. I've been running a lot with Patrick Mahomes lately. And the Browns... Oh, I just looked at the bottom of the screen. The Browns have beaten the Texans. So if we win this game, it will be a rematch of that AFC Championship game. The game that caused... The game that caused me to go out and sign Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> this has been quite the season for the Browns. Last year, they didn't even make the playoffs. And this year, they come back and they're in the AFC Championship game. That's a very good comeback season for them. Hopefully, it will be shut down by the Buffalo Bills, when, assuming we get there. But we got to get past these Raiders first. And they are not that easy of a team to get past. I know that they're only 11-5, and five, and they got a couple injuries of their key players on the offensive side. But they're still a very, very tough, competent team to play against. So it's going to be tricky for us to manage this game. We just got to play our game, and hopefully we'll come out with the W in the end like we usually do. We've only had a couple slip-ups. We've had more slip-ups in this series than in the uh, in the Bears series, which is nice. You like you like to see a little bit of variety, but I've, I'd prefer not. <laughs> I'd prefer to win every single game. But if we had to lose, oh, I would have preferred it to be in the divisional round so that we didn't lose in the AFC Championship game because that's just heartbreaking. Losing in the AFC Championship game when you get so close. And we played so bad, too. It wasn't even like we got blown out or anything. Ah! That is intercepted at the goal line. Oh my god. I pressed. <sighs> that is 150,000% my fault. I am such an idiot. But we got the safety. Let's go. We got the safety. Oh, they ran the football and... Uh, was that Lawrence Taylor that got back there? Oh, that makes up for it. Well, not really, because Patrick Mahomes still throwing an interception, but still. Okay, let, let me take you through the process that was going through my brain right there, because it was a, it was a, a lot. <laughs> you wouldn't think it'd be that much, but. So, basically, when I called that play, it was going to go to Devin Hester, which, in the end, it, it did. But then, very last second, right before I snapped that ball, for some reason, I, I decided to change it to throwing it to Reggie Wayne. And then I snapped the ball. And when I snapped the ball, my brain did not decide who to throw to. So I kind of like pressed the both of the buttons at the same time. And it just so happened that my thumb, when I was pressing both of those buttons at the same time, my thumb must have tapped the triangle button to throw to Devin Hester with more power than it pressed the circle button and it well not enough power because it lobbed it so that's the reason why that ball went the way that it did <laughs> I knew it was an interception for the moment I threw it which is very frustrating because it shouldn't have, it should have been a touchdown but I screwed because I couldn't decide who I wanted to throw to okay Ozzie Noose I couldn't turn up the field that would have been a huge play if I would have been able to turn up the field I don't think we're in Vinatieri's we were in Vinatieri's field goal range when he was younger but not now. Oh, we are now. Hold on to the football. Thank you, Patrick 
Mahomes. It did end up working out because we got the, the safety, which is awesome. I barely ever get safeties. So that's super cool to get a safety in this game. Give us a 2-0 uh, two lead. Uh, let's throw this one. Go up and get it. Noah Fant, he's been superb. He has been a fantastic tight end for us. Did he get both feet in? I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, end of the, okay, I thought they were challenging for a second, but I, I'm pretty sure he did get both feet in. That was a great catch. He's been a fantastic backup tight end for us. He was a fantastic backup tight end for us last year when uh, Gronk was here for his final season. And he's been even better this year. And Earl Campbell, oh, so close, Earl. So close to the end zone. Looks like we're going to have to bring in the refrigerator. Goal line package. Full back dive. Get the refrigerator the ball and let him score the touchdown. The snap, the handoff, and William Perry's in the end zone. Navarro Bowen picks up an injury. But the refrigerator scores. And now we should have a nine-point lead. I was a little bit worried there that when I threw that interception, we were going to concede and let the Raiders score for the first time. But it looks like, I don't know why he knelt down. He should not have. He should have tried, because I don't think he had, all of, he had to beat was Patrick Mahomes. I don't think he had anybody deep that he had to worry about. And he could have easily ran past Patrick. Also, I don't know who picked it off. I'm assuming it was a corner, but I don't really know. Oh, that's a touchdown. Stephon Gilmore just got blown by. Wow. <laughs> 75 yards on one play. I don't even know what happened, really. Michael Thomas, you truly can't guard him. To be honest, I'm not even sure what happened. <laughs> that was wild. He just absolutely blew by Stephon Gilmore, cooked him on that route, and Joe Burrow just put it right where he needed it to be. <laughs> That's crazy. I did not expect it to one play drive. This is going to be more of a close game than I would have liked. If they're going to be throwing balls like that, and if we're going to be playing coverage like that, that was horrible coverage. It's a good thing that we got that safety when we did because now we have a two-point lead again. This would have been a tight game. We need to just control the ball and play our type of game, run the clock down, and make sure that the Raiders don't get that many possessions because if they're going to play like that, we need to limit the amount of possessions they get. That was a beautiful throw from Patrick Mahomes stepping up in the pocket. Throwing an absolute strike to Ozzie Newsom, who's been a very good replacement for Gronkowski this year. You can't replace Rob Gronkowski fully just because he's just a freak of nature, both on the field and off the field. But Ozzie Newsom's done a very good job to try and fill those shoes a little bit. And we plus we got Jeremy Shockey who's still developing. So maybe in a few seasons, Shockey will be um, able to start over Ozzy Newsom. Who knows? All right, this is the play that I threw the interception on at the goal line. So let's see if I don't throw it this time. I didn't. Reggie Wayne was left wide open, tried a juke move, but he caught me. That's what was supposed to happen <laughs> on the very first drive to get us a touchdown. But I'm a very stupid boy and threw a pick on a very simple route. <laughs> I made it a lot more complicated than it needed to be, which I tend to do. But what a dart. An absolute dime from Mahomes to Randy Moss. And the Bills strike again. Oh, it's perfect. Randy Moss and Devin Hester, to be, to be honest, both just destroyed whoever was covering them on their slant routes. That's what you get when you have super fast um, receivers on the outside. You get two guys who can run slant routes with the best of them. And Randy Moss, all he needed was a good throw, and Patrick Mahomes put it right in the bread basket. Absolutely perfect. 16-7. Let's hopefully, hopefully, not let them score on one play this time. Can we please guard 
Mike Thomas. Uh, they throw it to him again, and he broke off a tackle. Please get him down. <laughs> if he if he would have broken off that tackle and scored another touchdown, I would have just threw the controller because that's just unacceptable. And Joe Burrow on two throws has over 100 yards passing around. This is going to get crazy if he continues to be this efficient. They're going to give it to Jamal Lewis. He's going to get shut down by Chuck Bednarik. Not letting him go anywhere. Second down and 10. The two-minute warning comes. All right. I think they get the ball to start the uh, second half. So we're going to have to stop them from scoring here, making sure that they can't do the double. Antonio Camardi got beat on his routes. Come on, guys. Our two best corners are getting absolutely cooked by these guys. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Uh, pick that off. Pick that off. Cam Chancellor picks it off. Let's go. Cam Chancellor. Joe Burrow threw across his body one of the cardinal sins you cannot do as a quarterback unless you're Patrick Mahomes. He threw across his body, and it comes back to bite him. Uh, my man's wide open over here as I throw across my body, and Devin Hester pulls it down. No way. <laughs> Devin Hester pulled that down. Wow, Devin Hester. For somebody who struggled in real life to catch the football, Devin Hester out here just pulled in one of the greatest catches I've ever seen. And Reggie Wayne gets us up to the seven. We don't have much time before the time runs out in the half. We got to score quickly here. Patrick Mahomes rolling to the left. He's going to have to run this one. Nope, throwing it away. Not going to make a touchdown, so might as well throw it away. I'm not going to throw a pick. I bet if I would have cut inside the, the left tackle, left guard, I bet I would have been able to score that. But I rolled around. I delayed myself a little bit here. I'm going to run it in this time. And Patch Mahomes, easy lane. Touchdown, Buffalo. And now we're starting to pull away. That defense has come up big with a safety and an interception in this first half. The defense is really, truly committed to winning us another Super Bowl. It is true that defenses win championships, so our defense has done its part so far. And now we're up 23 to seven with 17 seconds to go in the in the half. They probably will just run this ball one time and, and let the clock run out because I'm pretty sure they get the ball to start the second half. So. It looks like, I just looked down at the ticker, it looks like the Rams have beaten the Cowboys, so they will move to the NFC Championship game to play either the Saints or the Eagles, which I'm hoping is the Eagles, but who knows? It could very well be the Saints. They are the one seed. And there's the end of the first half here in Buffalo, 23 to seven. And the Raiders get the ball to start this second half. Our defense needs to keep playing. We can't just stop now that we've gotten this comfortable lead. We need to keep on playing, keep the pressure going because judging by that first drive for the Saints, they could very easily get back in this game with one play. If, if they just send Michael Thomas on a go route or something, he could very easily beat Stephon Gilmore. I mean, Gilmore is older now. He's not the corner that he used to be in John Lynch. Very first play of the, the half. John Lynch, can he take it? Oh, he couldn't beat Joe Burrow. But John Lynch on the first play of the half cuts the route and intercepts Joe Burrow and gives the Bills tremendous field position to start this half, and Patrick Mahomes runs it in again, and the Bills are gonna be headed to the AFC Championship game. Patrick Mahomes with another rushing touchdown, the second of the day. And it looks like we have a date with destiny. The Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills, the rematch the world wanted to see. And this time, it's the same exact scenario. We're walking in there. The winner goes to the Super Bowl. The first time we met the Browns were the ones who ended up, ended up going to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure they won the Super Bowl, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure they ended up winning that Super Bowl. So hopefully that'll be us this year. 
but this game is by no means over. I mean, I, I know I just declared it over, but 37, Joe Burrow could, could mount a comeback here. It'd be very, very hard for him to do. But there's just that little bit, that little ounce of possibility that he could just bring this team back and win this game. Obviously, I hope that he doesn't, but you never really know. First and 10 from the 37. Burrow in the shotgun, hands it off to Jamal Lewis. I missed the user tackle because I suck. And he gets a first down and more at the 50. If I didn't suck so bad, I would have had him down for a loss. But I suck. Especially at user tackling. And they give it to Jamal Lewis again. Stephon Gilmore is the one who brings him down this time. Good open field tackle there, because if he would have broke off that tackle, he probably would have been gone. He had the edge. He had the edge and he had the speed, so he probably would have been gone. That's a quick throw. Big hit from who was that? Who landed that? Uh, Grant Delpit is the one who landed that, but he holds on to it no matter. Bro. With the fake handoff. Play action. Picked up. <gasps> Deflected and picked. Darius Leonard. The third interception, right? Or second interception? Third interception. Let me go back and watch that. Because that... Am I even sure what happened here? Okay, let's zoom in here. Burrow with the play action. William Perry breaks through the center very quickly. Gets stopped by Lewis. The pressure is coming from Joe. Or coming to Joe. Let's uh, watch this again. Why is he throwing this in the first place? Let's let's uh, go back to when he's got people. So he's got Michael Thomas running a route to the end zone. He's got Henry Ruggs. If you throw it right here. If you throw it right here and put that ball here. I know that, that Gilmore is coming on this route with uh, Thomas, but if you put that ball like right here, Henry Ruggs probably catches that, and that's a first down. But instead, Joe Burrow throws it to double coverage, and when he's throwing it, is that Nick or is that Boyle? Is that who's throw, who's catching this ball? Yeah, Boyle's catching it. Uh, let me zoom back out. So he's throwing it right here. Not sure why he's throwing it right there, but he decides to throw it there. And who's that back there? Who is 21? Is that Cromartie? It is Cromartie. So Cromartie comes up. He tries to get it. Boyle's up there as well. Cromartie's hand hits the ball out of Boyle's hands. And here comes Darius Leonard. And Darius Leonard picks it off. And I the reason he jumped is because I was pressing triangle to catch the football with Darius Leonard. So he jumps, hurdles over, um, hurdle, hurdles over whoever this is. Uh, who is that? Oh, Chuck Bednarik. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name. Chuck Bednarik hurdles over him. Boom. And the defense comes up again with the third interception of the day. Wow. We really be out here cooking, don't we? We really out here doing our thing. Boom. There it is. That's the muscle play right there. That is, that's the money shot. Boom. Darius Leonard. Whew. And we get the ball once again. And if that game wasn't over before that drive, it is over now. OVA. Over. We just got to run the clock down, take as much time as we need. And it looks like the Browns know who they're playing in the AFC Championship game. That's going to be a big game. That's going to be a must see game. You cannot miss. The rematch of the century. My man's wide open over here. Ozzy, he held on. I don't know how he held on, but he held on. Ozzy Newsom. Whew. I cannot believe he actually did. I thought he was going to drop that. Usually, Madden cheeses you like, like that. It gives you those crazy animations where they drop it. Another big run from Earl Campbell. Hasn't really had much to do today. It's been all Patrick Mahomes. Usually I don't I say the opposite. Usually it's been 
all Earl Campbell and Patrick Mahomes really does nothing. But today, it's Earl, it's uh, Patrick Mahomes with two rushing touchdowns and a passing touchdown, and he's done really everything you needed out of a quarterback. First down and 10 from the 25. I'm going to have to run you over, and I couldn't. Was that Kenneth Murray who got me there? I think it was. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Let's see if I can get this pass to Randy Moss for a touchdown here. Hester's making a good ride. I like that route. Fade to the corner. But Randy Moss, I like this route better! And Randy Moss with the catch. Let's go. And I'm, I'm thinking kind of sneaky here. I'm thinking maybe I get a third rushing touchdown with uh, Patrick Mahomes here. I know he doesn't tend to rush a lot. I can't do it. I got to throw it quickly. Ozzie Newsome for a touchdown. And we seal the deal. This defense has been the reason that we're winning this game. Yes, the offense has been very good and they're putting up points. But we wouldn't have a lot of these points if it wasn't for that defense. The defense stepped up. It's truly defense wins championships, and we're proving it here today. Hopefully the defense shows up next week against the Browns. I really do hope so. Joe Burrow's not happy with the way that his defense is played <laughs> against our offense. Let's see if we can get another interception or some sort of turnover. Uh, oh, I almost had a sack with Chase Young. I don't ever get sacks with Chase Young for some reason. I don't know why. But I rarely ever get sacks with Chase Young. Start of the fourth quarter. Second down and one. That was a good pass from Burrow. He's had his fair share of good passes in this game. Although he's only thrown 10 passes, completed seven of them. So, I mean, it's limited quality or limited uh, quantity of passes, but he's, he's had decent passes in this game so far. He's had his bad passes, obviously. And that, that last interception wasn't really his fault. I mean, it was because he threw in a double coverage with a tight end trying to go up and get that ball. But, I mean, he just got unlucky with the deflected interception. He probably should have never thrown that, but since he did. Oh, big hit. Joe Burrow got leveled out of bounds. He holds on to the football and is okay. And he does the, the first down thing in the face of one of our coaches. That's funny. But I thought for sure Joe Burrow would at least fumble that ball. Oh. Jamal Lewis with a little bit of spin move. I was going to hit him with Pat Tillman, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, there's the defense and some of the offense. Actually, the only defense player on that in that picture is uh, 92. Is that Reggie White? <laughs> I don't know why he's the only defense player there. He should be out here. <laughs> a little bit confusing. Oh, uh, Burrow's going to roll, and he's going to find his man out of bounds. Nixon, apparently. I don't know who that Nixon guy is. Must be one of the rookies. Or one of the auto-generated plays. First and 10 from the 31. Quick throw. Gets it to Nixon again. Back-to-back -back throws to this guy. He's got like three or four catches, I think. Oh, he's got five catches. Excuse me. I didn't mean to disrespect my guy. Oh, that's a... Wow, Joe. Where are you throwing that ball? The receiver didn't even go that full route. He didn't even commit to it. He cut back. I don't know what Joe was thinking on that. He sent that ball flying into the stands. And can we snap? Oh, Michael Thomas with the slam. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sweet Mother Mary. Michael Thomas, how are you still alive? How in this great planet are you still alive right now? Oh my lord. That is a straight forearm from John Lynch. That is a UFC move. Look at that. He follows through. John Lynch follows through. He levels Michael Thomas in the head. I don't blame him for fumbling that football. John Lynch just threw a lefty Superman punch at my man Michael Thomas. My 
God, he levels this kid. Oh, God, I feel so bad for Michael Thomas. Wow. A full-on forearm straight to the side of the head from John Lynch. That is a... Wow. I've seen some crazy animations in my time playing Madden and, and football games in general. But that is one of the craziest ones I've seen. And you may not think it's that crazy, but just look at the way that he's finished that play. Look at this, this snapshot right here. is a perfect example of how crazy this play is. My God. Michael Thomas got his bell rung here. Let's watch it in real time. Oh, God, it's so bad. It's so bad. Why? <laughs> Why'd you have to do him like that, John Lynch? I know you're a hard hitter, but you didn't have to do him like, you didn't have to do him like that. That's just, ugh. Michael Thomas may never recover from that one. That was crazy, right? I still, oh, man. I cannot, I cannot get over how crazy that was. Now we just got to run the clock out. Oh, Ozzy Newsome. That's not good. Why are you hurt, Ozzy? Hopefully it's not serious because we got no fan to Jeremy Shockey, but they're both quality tight ends, but I'd rather have my 99 overall tight end, especially against the Browns with our history against the Browns. Uh, broken ribs. So that's no bueno. That is very much no bueno. I do not want to go against the Browns with no Fant and Jeremy Shockey's are tight ends. And there's a flag. It's coming back. Of course it is. There's probably a hold on John Hanna or something. Brandon Linder. I should have known. It's usually one of the two. It's usually either John Hanna or Brandon Linder who get called for holding. Luckily, this should be the final season of Brandon Linder. And then we can move on to Nick Mangle as our starting center. Third and 11. That wasn't a very good run. So I'm going to have to make some magic happen with Patrick Mahomes here. Snap. Roll out to the right. There's a holding call, so I might as well just throw it here. It's picked off, so it doesn't matter. How did I not realize that was going to be a pick? <laughs> I should have easily recognized in my brain that that throwing that play was or throwing that pass was going to be a pick. Uh, big hit, Erlacher. No, Jamal Lewis is going to roll. Two minutes left to go in this game. We're up by 30 with two minutes to go. There's no coming back from this for the Raiders, but at least they could get some dignity back. It's been an ugly game, both for Joe Burrow throwing the football and for poor Michael Thomas. He's taking a beating in the middle of the field. Michael Thomas has taken an absolute beating. Oh, Joe Burrow got hit on the throw. That might have been a touchdown if he was able to complete that with no pressure. But he got hit on the throw, and it was able it sailed out of bounds. Let's rush Chase Young here on second down. Snap. He's going to throw it quickly. Big hit from, who is that, Cam Chancellor on Nixon? A little over a minute to go. I'm going to rush with Darius Leonard here. On the right side. It's going to be knocked in. Complete pick. pick. Oh. Both Cromartie and Sean Wade had a try at it. And, it both go, and it, they both drop it. It was incomplete. Oh, it's fourth down. I got. Oh, I didn't get to change the play to a blitz. I didn't realize it was fourth down. Pick it off. Oh, he squeezed. That was a tight window. He squeezed that into. That was a very tight window that Joe Burrow got that ball in. Good throw. Probably a risky throw. Who is their backup quarterback? I don't know who that backup quarterback is. Let me go check real quick because now I'm curious. Who is the Raiders? Backup quarterback here. Raiders. Hayne Wilson, a rookie from. Can I, can I check his card or anything? No, I can't. Okay. 
Hayne Wilson. I don't even know who you are. You're just an auto-generated player, I think. Oh, they're going to go for an onside kick for, down 14-37 to 37 with a minute to go in the game. Somebody bring it in. Please, please. Thank you. Cam Chancellor is the one to do it. And with a minute to go, I say we run it, get it down, call a timeout, kick a field goal with Adam Vinatieri, and go face the Browns. And it's coming back. Who's the culprit this time? I'm going to guess John Hanna again. It's Bra oh, I was going to say Brandon Linder, but I was like, it can't be him twice. But I was wrong. It is him twice. <laughs> of course it is him. Uh, cutting out to the outside. Do a little bit of juke move. The thickest thighs in all the land. Couldn't get a juke move. All right, let's do a little bit of motion. Send Noah Fan to the left. Snap this ball. Uh, all right, call a timeout. We got to get one more play so we can get into Adam Vinatieri's field goal range because him being 50, what, 52 now? Is he actually 52 now? I don't know. But we got to make sure that he can't, because he, he can't kick these field goals anymore. He's too, too old. He doesn't have the leg power. So I got to make sure that we get him a little bit closer. I don't want it to doink. I do not want this ball to doink off the post. I think he can only kick like a 40 yarder or something now. And get down. How did you catch that, Randy? How in the world did you catch that? That was a bad throw probably from me. But luckily, Patrick Mahomes' arm strength and, and uh, Randy Moss's hands were able to bring it in. Oh, just got it in there. That's such a close throw. All right, now we let the clock drain and drain and drain and drain and drain and drain. Until we get to now. Timeout called Adam Vinatieri. The old man. The old man's out here for his last, possibly his last hurrah. Although, is what I was trying to say, I thought that last season was going to be his last hurrah. And he gets it. It was a little bit scary that he's going to miss a 42-yarder, but... He hits that one, and we're going to play the Browns. The rematch everybody's wanted to see since it happened is finally going to happen. Cleveland and Buffalo for a chance to go to the Super Bowl. A rematch of a few years ago. Oh, baby. It's going to be good. There was a lot of crazy catches in this game, too. A lot of crazy moments. So Patrick Mahomes ended up with 14 of 18, 254 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Um, Campbell had 23 yard or 23 attempts, 92 yards. Patrick Mahomes with two touchdowns. William Perry had a touchdown, uh, receiving. Reggie Wayne had five catches for 69 yards. Ozzy Newsome, who broke his ribs, had four catches, 62 yards, and a touchdown. Randy Moss had two catches, 47 yards, and a touchdown. Defensively. Uh, Kamardi led tackles along with Grant Delpin and Sean Wade. So all of our our uh, corners are, are leading tackles in this game. Interceptions, Darius Leonard got one. John Lynch got one. Cam Chancellor got one. I don't think we sacked anybody. No, we didn't get a sack on Joe Burrow. That's very interesting. And then Evan Vinatieri went one for one for 42 uh, as the long. Five for five on the extra points. All in all, very good game. It was over very quickly, uh, but our defense really came to play in this game they they won us that football game all right pull you back get, pull you guys back in so that we can show you ozzy newsome broken ribs out for four weeks so i'm pretty sure he's not going to be back in time for the super bowl unless he might be back for the super bowl i'm not 100 percent sure it'll be very close uh dante jackson should be back for the super bowl but it's not looking good for Ozzie Newsome. That's a little bit upsetting because he's our best tight end and we'll have to play this game against the Browns without him. So that's going to be a little bit nerve-wracking as well. 
I'm not sure how that's going to go, but that's going to be in the next episode. Let's check the actually let's check the playoff bracket real quick. Um, oh, I can't because it's not going to show us. So in the next episode, if I remember correct, if I remember, um, I'll show you guys the playoff bracket before the start of that game. But that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure to smash that like button, the notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Join the Juice Club, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!